Good morning. Y'all may be seated if you're still standing here in <laughs> church. Um, hello to all the kids watching from home. Thank you so much for joining us for worship today. And back in 1972, there was a study done by Stanford on kids. And this study was with marshmallows. Maybe you've heard of it, but what it was is that they gave the kid a marshmallow on a plate and they sat there and they told the kid that if they waited for 15 minutes, they would get two more marshmallows. And a lot of the kids would struggle to wait 15 minutes to get those two extra additional marshmallows, which would bring them up to a total of three marshmallows rather than just the one, because they really wanted that one marshmallow right at that instant. And I tell you that because a lot of the time in our lives, we can be like kids because we always want more. We want more money. We want more possessions. We want more of things that we can get in this world. But in our Holy Gospel reading that we just heard from Chris Carver, the things of this world aren't things that we're going to be able to take with us to heaven. And so you can have all the stuff, all the money in this world, but as soon as you leave this world and head off to heaven, none of that stuff is going to go with you. And so Jesus told a story of a gentleman who had his grain that produced an abundance one year, so much so that it couldn't fill his, or his barns couldn't hold them anymore. And so for the next year, he thought to himself, I'm going to tear down the barns that I have, and I'm going to build more barns so that I will be able to store all the crop and things that I have for the next year. And God called this man foolish because of the fact that when he leaves this earth, like I said at the beginning, he's not going to be able to take that stuff with him. And so a lot of the times we are worried about the things that we have in this world. And a lot of the times we try to keep up with other people, keep up with the things that they have, because if they have something that seems like is a need for us, then we, a lot of times, will try to go out and get that exact same thing. But the good news is, is that that's not where true happiness comes from. Because true happiness comes from Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ gives us that true happiness through his death on the cross, which forgived us of all our sins. And since we have been forgiven, and our, slight, our slate has been wiped clean, we will be able to join him in heaven later on when we leave this earth, not with our possessions, but in the room that he's preparing for us as we speak today. That's the good news for today. Let's fold our hands now and pray. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus thank, you thank you for giving us, for giving us all, that all that we need. Help us, Help us to remember, to remember that we don't need possessions of this world because we get heaven after earth after earth in your name we pray in your name we pray amen amen please join us in singing the next